I have not made a vlog in years and I never really thought I was going to again. Um, now that I'm a mom, I kind of enjoy being more private in my personal life, but I figured I would make this vlog to help anyone else who might be thinking their implants are making them sick. I got my first implants five years ago and I never really felt weird with them at all. I just had these new bigger implants put in when I was done breastfeeding. About six m months ago I had them put in and ever since then I just haven't felt like myself. I've been extremely fatigued um, where I need like two naps a day and I'm still exhausted. I could sleep 10 hours straight and I'm going to wake up super groggy and unrested. So that's the main issue with the daily headaches and migraines that just are, it's really affecting my life. Like my husband and my daughter go to the pool and I can't because I need to nap and I have a headache. So it's just been about six months nonstop of that. Um, my, my acne has been flaring up. I actually printed off a whole list of the breast implant symptoms, brought it to my doctor to show them all the symptoms that I have from the list. That's when they started taking me more seriously about considering my implants. I've been going to the doctors for the last couple months now to kind of figure out what's causing my pain. Um, I'm in physical therapy for my back and neck pain, which they think is related to my shoulders being pulled forward from my breast implants. So that has nothing to do with breast implant illness. That's just another factor of, you know, it's hard to sleep on my stomach because they're so big. It's hard to find clothes that don't make me look like I'm trying to be super provocative just because my implants are so large. But I didn't want to get a lift when I switched implants and I wanted to fill out my saggy breasts from breastfeeding. So my doctor, my surgeon at the time said, just go big and it'll be fine. You won't need a lift, you won't have scars. So I did it. And ever since then, it's been pretty much a nightmare. Um, I went to the doctors and I had a full blood panel done before I even thought it was my implants and everything came back normal. Um, they were trying to blame it on me being vegan, but then my results for all my vitamin levels and all my iron and everything came back great. So they, um, they took that out. So, you know, it wasn't that. And then they had a sleep uh, study done. They're like, maybe you have sleep apnea and that's why you're so tired all the time. And my sleep test came back normal. So then they're like, oh. Sorry, we don't know what else to tell you, like. <laughs> so um, then I saw on the news that implants were recalled and it was like my same, same brand, same type, same cohesive gel as mine. So I panicked and I actually found out um, I have the smooth version and the recalled version were the texturized. But that's when I started looking into implants making people sick and that's when I came across breast implant illness and I came across the Facebook page healing breast implant illness and that's when I found this list of symptoms that I have the majority of and it all made sense and I just I feel so stupid for getting these um I am in the sex industry so clearly looks do matter for my job but they don't it doesn't matter enough to cost me my life like I'll deal with the consequences of this I have a family and I don't want something to happen to me one day and my daughter is like has to ask why and my husband has to tell her well because your mom wanted boobs you know like it's not worth dying over or being sick over forever um I just had more labs done today for autoimmune uh diseases like a panel of that done and to test my hormones and uh since I won't be getting the surgery done for at least the removal of my breast done for a month or two. I am getting off birth control for a month just to narrow it down more and to see if I still feel this way off birth control. Just trying to narrow down every possibility to make sure it is these causing me all this pain. But I mean, it. I never thought of them as foreign objects before. Like there, I placed big, foreign objects, bags of silicone, under my muscle, over my heart and lungs. Why did I not think that through? Why? It's just so normalized that getting boob jobs, and it's like no doctors tell you, no surgeons tell you like the risks. Like it's, they say it's completely safe. These are completely safe lifetime devices. No, they're not. Like 
they're just impacting even without breast implant illness just having these large of implants I have 700 cc's is affecting my daily life but the breast implant illness of how I feel I'm just I'll go over some of the symptoms that I'm having um, fatigue low energy brain fog memory loss muscle and joint page pain <laughs> hair loss, dry skin and hair, weight problems, inflammation, dry eyes, decline in vision, hyperthyroid symptoms, hyperadrenal syndrome, parathyroid problems, hormone imbalance, low libido, IBS, night sweat, persistent bacterial infections, yeast infections, headaches, migraines, slow muscle recovery, sore and aching joints of shoulder, hips, dehydration for no reason, frequent urination, pain or burning around implants. So after I had my implants, these second ones put in in December 2018, I had to go back in three months, two months later for my left implant for them to release the muscle more because it was not wanting to settle. So just since then, my left breast is in so much pain, so much pain all the time. Anxiety, depression, and I'm on Prozac. I'm on 40 milligrams of Prozac that I've been on for over a decade. And so I'm taking antidepressants and I'm just feeling so depressed. I just literally sit in this bed so tired in pain from my headache and just feeling like I'll never feel better. I feel like an old 90 year old woman. Um, symptoms of Lyme disease, symptom of EBV, symptoms of autoimmune diseases. Symptoms of lupus, symptoms of multiple sclerosis. So I brought this to my doctor today and they gave me more tests done, more labs. So I'm still in the process. I'm not really sure where this vlog's gonna go. I'm hoping that I get a good consultation or two. I currently narrowed it down to six um, doctors that I'm seeing. Uh, in August, so August 1st, August 8th, August 9th, August 13th, 15th, and 26th. So, hopefully I like one of them enough to take these out, but since they're so big and I did breastfeed, I'm going to need a lift as well, which is really hard for my job because I'm going to have scars around the areola down and under. So, it's just, it's a dilemma because it's not just looks. It's my job, which means my money, which means the st stability and, you know, I'm trying to invest all my money so I can retire early. And I'm not really sure how I'll be able to work with these scars all over my breasts, but I would rather be healthy. So that's the route I'm taking. And I'm just, now that I know it's breast implant illness, and I've been researching it like crazy. I've been watching every vlog on YouTube. I've been reading books, been watching documentaries and reading articles. It's these stupid things, these stupid things. So if you're watching this and you really want boobs or you know someone that really wants boobs, tell them about breast implant illness. It's not guaranteed that everyone who gets boobs is gonna have this happen, but it's just, it's. I think it's important to think of them as these bags random objects placed under your muscle placed in your body to sit there of course your body's gonna attack it and want it out i just i just never thought of those things before i got them but um yeah next time i talk to you guys it will be after some consultations i'm very excited to share that i have my surgeon picked out and my surgery date is in let me see yeah monday tuesday wednesday thursday Oh, four days. I have four days left having fake boobs. It's bittersweet. Like, I'm so excited to just get it over with. I, like, have, like, 30 bras in the hallway that I'm going to try to find someone to give them to. But I'm just getting rid of all my big bras and everything. And just, I'm so ready. Um, I went to three different doctors before I chose mine. The first one I went to was, like... It wasn't a very clean place, and there was a cockroach on the floor. So, I didn't pick that one, and then I went to another doctor who I really, really liked, and he does, like, tons of stuff on breast implant illness. Like, he had, a, like, big binders of stuff and different stories he shared of different women, and I really wanted to choose him. I originally did book with him, but his scars... They weren't bad, but I just, I found another, I went to a different um, consultation, even though I already booked with that doctor. 
and this doctor's incisions are so clean and because of my job the incisions and the scars are going to be very important and I just really trust how clean his work is and how clean the, the incisions are. So I lost my $500 deposit which is fine because this new guy that I booked with, Dr. Park, is cheaper by a couple grand anyways. So, and I can get in. I was I was going to have to wait till mid-October, but now I have four days left and I'm just, I'm so excited. I'm so ready. Um, it's been a really crazy, exhausting week for me. I had a book signing and then I had two nights of feature dancing. For my job so I, my body is so exhausted more exhausted than usual but i'm ready to get these out of me and see how i feel my best friend for my birthday she brought me this balloon for my titties says we'll miss you goodbye <laughs> and i'm all ready i have all my prescriptions right here i got some vitamins to take after surgery just to help with my healing process and August 22nd is the date I'm ready so today is the morning of my surgery and I wanted to get your forgive my rice your opinion on everything <laughs> that's fair you asked me a question or did you want a blanket Our, okay 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 are you going to miss my boobs? No. Not at all? No. Why? Why? Because they're like, I don't know, I guess I view them as like little parasites that are like stealing you from me. Because all you do is nap. Yeah. And I'm not, and it's not to say that you're like, like a, like a they, like it's not to say that you're like, they make you like, a bad wife or a bad mom because they don't because you do absolutely everything in your power and more to do both of those things like no one I've ever seen before but it's like I don't know you, you've just been a different person and you're usually like happy and full of life and running around and jumping and doing stupid stuff and it seems like you've just been having a migraine or having a headache or like needing a nap yeah, and, that's and how I, don't. I feel too. <laughs> and, and I just, I just, I just, I just, I miss my wife, and I want my wife back. And you don't care if I have no boobs. I don't care. I, I told you this. I told you this yesterday. I don't, or a couple days ago. I don't care. I don't care if you had like no boobs and like one leg. So long as you were just happy, I, I don't, I don't care. I just, I Aww. love you for you, and I don't want anything to come in the way of. A little happy girl. That's 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 who you are, and I love you. So okay, I love you. Anything that can help bring that back. I'm, Take out I can't these. say I can't say I'm willing to do because I'm not doing it. But <laughs> but I guess whatever it takes to to get that back, I'm happy with. Let's chop me up. Artfully carve your titties off. <laughs> I keep saying that. I'm gonna get I'm um, paying someone to chop me up and he said, Chop no. your titties off. He's like artfully like, carve you. Chop, chop my tits off. Just That's sounds what it feels like, so like barbaric. That's what it feels like. Okay, I love you. I know. I love you too. <laughs> Say I love you, mommy. Bye, mommy. Good luck, mommy. Bye, mommy. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Love you. Love you. It is one day post explant. It's actually hard for me to hold this camera. I'm gonna rest it on my knees. Um, everything went good. The surgery took five hours yesterday, which is a lot longer than it's supposed to. I have my drains, and I haven't seen how much breast tissue I've left yet, but we shall see. I'm just happy they're on my body, and I get to take this bandage off today. And I think that will relieve a lot of the pressure too, because it's squeezed pretty tight. But um, yeah, I'm feeling good, feeling clear-headed. Obviously, my chest hurts, but <sighs> I'm excited to see how I start feeling once I'm healed from the surgery, and I'm excited to see what's under this wrap. 
I'm just going to trust that I'm going to love it and I'm going to love my body the way it is rather than putting in foreign objects under my muscles to try to make myself look better. So stupid. But so this is super crazy to me. I figured I would probably record this part in a couple months. I thought it was going to at least take me like 30 days until I started to see some improvement from my symptoms. But it's 12 days post-op right now and I've I've probably started feeling better around day three or four. Um, I got off my pain meds day two and it's been very hard for me to stay in bed and recover. Like I'm not supposed to be cleaning for the first two weeks. It's very hard because I'm full of life for the first time in years. Like usually, like before my explant, I felt like I was 90 years old. I couldn't get up out of this bed. I had no interest to leave the house. Like it was really hard for me to even leave and go do something with my daughter because I was just, I felt so shitty. And now I'm just, I'm so excited. I'm just so excited, I'm so happy. I haven't had a migraine since. Um, I, I think I took like two naps last week. Usually I take like two naps a day. And um, my fatigue is just completely like lifted. It's crazy, it's just all crazy. And um, I have both my sets of implants here. So this was the first ones I had. These are the ones I didn't have any problems with. Um, I was fine when I had these in my body. These were 475. And then when I got 700, um, these are the ones. These made me so sick. And they're like cloudy looking too, which is odd because this one's not cloudy. I don't know if that's anything to do with anything, but look how big this was. Hold on. I can't believe I walked around with these inside of me. How stupid. That's crazy. I'm like feeling all this weight. This is the first time I've held them like this since. I just, this doesn't seem real. I'm so glad they're out of me. And even though uh, my job is my body, I feel so comfortable in my little boobies. Like I love them. I'm so I'm so much happier than I was, which I was very nervous to see how I felt without them, but I love them. Yeah, I just wanted to update because I see results. Like by week one post op, I knew this was this was what was this is it. Like this is what helped me. Like nothing could help me. And there was no one could figure out what was wrong with me. Take the implants out and I feel better. Like, part of me was really nervous that I would take it out and feel the same. And my gut knew, like, it was my implants. So, if you think that you have breast implant illness, it's absolutely worth it to take them out. I mean, you really have nothing to lose at that point. I'm, I'm so much happier with my body. Like, I feel like I'm me again. Even though these boobs made me so much money, these implants... And you know, they did look nice. They were just not, they were just too big. They're too extreme. I'm so happy with my natural body now. And I'm just, I'm just gonna live in this body and learn to love every single part of me and not try to change myself. And I love it. I'm so happy. Wow, it has been five months since I got my explant. And I thought I was gonna post this video a lot longer. But I've been doing so much, I've been living life now, and I guess I kind of knew this needed an ending as well, and I knew I didn't know enough right away. I mean, like, I felt better right after, but I wanted to kind of give a follow-up, and um, so here I am. And I'm five months post-explant. Um, love my flat chest. I don't love the scars, because the scars are still very much there. I looked into getting either micro needling done to get rid of the scars or tattoo camouflage, which is where they use skin tone colors to kind of match the scar, but you can't do that till one year post, which is fine. Um, I'm loving, I'm loving just feeling healthier. So I work out, I do workout classes all the time now, and I lost, I'm down 20 pounds almost. Almost 20 pounds since when I had my implants in, which is insane because I would try to diet before and I could not lose weight. But now I lost weight, I feel healthier, 
I don't have as much brain fog. I have no migraines, which is insane. I don't nap. The only time I nap is like if I had a really sleep deprived night or like my body's exhausted or I'm mentally exhausted. So maybe like once every like two or three weeks now rather than twice a day. Insane, right? So I've been working with a health coach for the last four months, Diane Kayser, and I've been learning all the different ways to detox your body because it's not just breast implants that were making me sick. You know, it's your water is dirty. Like even when you're using a filter, like some of the filters don't clean the water it should be. Different products I put on my face, on my body, household cleaning supplies. There's so many different things, you know, environmental issues that make us sick. So you have to reduce toxins everywhere. And obviously these huge silicone bags inside of me were the biggest factor. And getting those out, I felt better right away. But now I've been trying to go deeper and get like all of this flush my whole system so I'm not done with my detox still you know I probably still have like another half a year of work to do so I'm doing a lot of supplements and these um, kits that are for detoxing your brain and your body so I'm putting in a lot of work right now but this is all because people ask me like do you regret getting my implants and one they made me a lot of money in my career so no I don't but two I kind of found my passion, my my next career. I am currently in school to be a health coach because finding out all this information about just the different factors that make you unhealthy in life and just blows my mind because I didn't know any of this. And now I'm in a holistic health coaching school so I can be a certified health and life coach coming soon. So I'm really excited to like journey onto another business avenue and work with clients to help other people realize these things and make healthy habit changes. So through all of this hardship and all these surgeries and all that money I spent, I kind of found my true passion and who knows where this is going to lead me. And I'm very, very thankful for my journey. I would never put another implant in my body. I would never put any kind of foreign object. I'm actually struggling right now because I usually get Botox. See how my forehead's moving? Usually doesn't do that. But now I'm just like, I don't want to inject chemicals in myself. I don't want to put any more toxins in my body. I've treated my body so poorly over my life, and I, I know it doesn't deserve that. So now I'm working on making healthy changes. But I wanted to update this that, you know, this was worth it. And if you're thinking about getting your implants taken out, I feel like my life kind of restarted after my explant. I have all this life in me now. I want to, I get up at like five in the morning sometimes just so I can get out and I love working out and having my workout done before the sun comes out. Like before I was in bed every single second. I had no motivation to work out. I was just sick and I had no idea why. I was sick and tired and was in pain. So taking my implants out was 100% the right decision and I hope maybe watching this will convince you to do the same. Thank you for watching. Give it a like and subscribe. I might start my YouTube channel up again. Maybe. So like this if you would like me to restart making videos. Bye.